one thing I will say is that last Stealth A run was super strong. So we are at a current streak of eight, I believe. Yes, eight. And um, let's see what the next run is, my friends. Here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Slug C, we did second on this streak. Sad. I'd love to play it again. So no repeats. One, two, three, and random. Fed A, we have not done any of the Fed ships. Well, at least it's not Fed C I can be happy about. No whammies. Stop. Show me Fed C. You're close, JML. Uh, JML, JML, we're close. All right. Um, do I have any specific crew requests? I have a slug request. I don't have a slug. I did have somebody want to be an NG. Magwamagwa. <laughs> I hope I spell this right. An NG named... Mag Wham Gua. Human is, of course, Grima, since we didn't get you in last time. Welcome aboard, Grima. Um, let's see. Did I have any other Lanius from Abandoned Sector? Zoltan C. Door Zoltan. Door Human, Slock Nog. Two NGs I don't have. Okay, I think that's all of my YouTube names for now. Despite this ship seeming decent on paper, you seem to have bad luck with it. You would like to be the Mantis. Sure thing, Grand Moth Tarkin. Uh, this ship is pretty mid, I feel. If it didn't have... There we go. Tark? Oh, gosh. Your name is too long. Moth Tark, we'll say. If it didn't have artillery, it'd probably be better, maybe? I don't know. Um, can you give a quick overview of the ship's strength and weaknesses before you start to play? Sure. This ship has a burst laser too, which may, may make you think, wow, what a good ship. Um, burst laser 2 is good, but I think a lot of people actually get weapon value before even second shield because one hit into your weapons means you're relying on your artillery. And this ship, I would say the strengths are Good crew diversity for blue options. Good weapon, not amazing because the Burst Laser 2 by itself kind of needs some help. And negatives is artillery. This, taking up a system slot, is just 100% a negative. You can argue that it helps when your Burst Laser 2 goes offline, but if you just didn't have this and had an Ion Blast Mark 1 or something, the ship would be so much stronger. Um... You want to be weapons guy. Well, the weapons person is a human because I move people around. Pseudo Drifter. The only person I have available is the rock. So you can be my piloting rock. Uh, Pseudo Drifter. Ship layout's kind of bad too. Yeah, the ship can get cut in half pretty quickly by a hack into the middle. And yeah, I would say it's not ideal. So I don't think it's the worst, but I, I wouldn't. Uh, that's not great either. Rip Jam Rock. Oh, did Jam Rock? Oh, sorry. I don't know. There's too many requests. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Distress Beacon. This can carefully cut the ship out. We have NG Blue options. I would like to get all four Nebula jumps. Is skipping a Distress for two extra Nebula jumps worth it? Civilian Nebula? It might be. Okay, we'll go for this. What's my general progression on the ship? I used to get second shield first all the time. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Sleeping Dragon, I think a lot of the top players get weapon value before shield upgrade, is that right? Bet A is Distress Beacon Hoarder. Oh man, do we do this one in four or five to lose crew? I'm thinking about doing this. Worst loss would be NG loss. Definitely a debate between weapon value or shields on the ship. You tend to go shields, but you know other players go weapons three. Generally weapon and shield buffer, then full second shield. Oh, I'm going to go for this. Whew. Hashtag never punished. Let's put NG on doors. That, I was going to say it gives a silly device, but you're a mag wham of a lamb a lamb a jamma. That's what you are. Hashtag never punished. My Copley Ghost Shields? Okay. 
TP run confirmed. <laughs> yes, what I would love to go with my forced artillery is another system that is not my favorite system. Where are they? Over here. Okay. I'd love to get another non-ideal with a system with my forced non-ideal uh, hack uh, artillery system. Although I guess... Um, what is it, Hollow that says teleporter is the best weapon in the game or whatever he says? But I am a uh, micro softy. Um, what's the word? What's the word for people who are care bear? I'm a I'm a boarding care bear. Care bear when it comes to. Uh, no pause micro with boarding Darn I didn't even bring snacks No, I'm not gonna say that one <laughs> jerk. No, I was thinking of the word that uh, PvPers used use for MMO players who don't like to PvP. I think Care Bears or Softy or something. There's some word about it I'm a boarding Care Bear. That's right. <laughs> oh Man, I gotta stop his I'm gonna go for missiles, even though he might get out because I aim at missiles. You think I underrate TP? Yeah, I'll read the rest of your sentence in a second here. Let me focus here. Okay, good. Make sure there's no fire or breach. Good. Uh, you think I underrate TP, but it is more brittle than other approaches since you can get punched so hard if you mess up. What I'll say about teleporter on no pause, it is a high skill cap if you're good with teleporter you are really good but if you make a small mistake on teleporter it can end your run instantly because if you invest into teleporter and all of a sudden you lose all your crew and you're a ship that spent 90 scrap on teleporter and don't have weapons you might you, you might just fall behind and die so it's kind of high risk high reward high skill cap whatever you want to say I think TP is pretty awful purchase on this ship. Having a bear to board with would be useful. It would make me think of Master of Orion. A <laughs> bear to board with, okay. Oh my god, defense two. This is essentially two shields in sector one when they have defense two drone. That's, that's so unfair. Okay, I guess I should be glad it's a bomb, not a missile. Just don't bomb my weapons or shields. Fuck. God damn it, FTL. That's what you're saying, high risk, high reward, yeah. And there we go. They've only hit the two worst fucking systems they could hit with their first two fucking missiles. Ah, Jesus Christ. Fuck you, FTL. Fuck you. They've hit literally only weapons and shields so much so far. Get fucked, you shitty ass cheating game. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sore or anything, chat. They've literally hit nothing but those weapons with my with their bombs. Fuck you, you shitty ass game. Do I leave? Let me see. This is not a pause. People ask when I do this on YouTube, why does this not count as a pause? The reason this is not a pause is because I'm in, I am considering running away from a fight. I am not pausing the game to micro my crew around. So this is not a pause for those who wonder. <sighs> Don't leave. It's only three damage and Artie will kill them. Yeah, artillery probably goes down before it fires, but I've only taken three damage. And my NG is helping repair. So I'm probably not leaving. But this ship is bullshit. Defense 2 drone and a bomb that has hit nothing but weapons and shields is effing stupid. Okay, we're sticking it out. Fucking weapon shot again. Literally every bomb, I think, has been weapons shields. You shitty ass game. We get one shot by a bomb. Okay. God damn it. 
gonna have to dodge the bomb if I don't want my NG to die here. Okay. Did I fucking call it? Or did I fucking call it? Artillery rises about to fire. Just went down. Um. What a shitty deal, too. Because they only have a basic laser, you wouldn't leave, but wary of them sniping crew with the bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That's too shitty of a deal. I'm not taking it. Let me get this guy over here. This is still going here because this guy's within one small bomb of death four damage so far this fight I believe okay what a dumbass fight and people ask why is this ship not stronger it starts with the burst laser too that right there that right there burst laser 2 by itself is not good enough. And artillery is a piece of crap. One missile to it stops it. Just like one missile to weapon stops it. Weak reward, screw that. They drew blood, they must perish. Yeah. Well, let's do the weapon value. Even though that wouldn't protect me from small bomb, I'm gonna do the weapon value. That is quite vulnerable to start, yeah. That is quite possibly the worst surrender offer possible in FTL. It was what? One missile, one drone part, seven scrap. Does pre igniter apply to artillery? It does not. Only uh, automated reloader works on it. Some people not might not realize. Alright, this is going to be all about what this missile does. If it takes out shield, it's bad. If it hits weapons, I. I think our value point protects us. How did you dodge nice, everything? Nice. What? Good. Let's see if he's got repair drone over there. He doesn't. Good. Okay, good. Bet A is the worst shieldless ship? Really? This was the worst shieldless ship for you, Mike Huckley? They keep giving me minimum scrap reward. I, I don't want to take minimum scrap reward, man. Man? It was easily the worst shieldless ship. Wow, that's crazy. And that's the kind of rewards we need. And then a store when I have nothing to sell. Ha! <laughs> Forced double store when I have nothing to sell. That B was also terrible. You know what? I kind of want to go back through the nebula rather than go to a store where I can't do anything. Because literally all I want to do right now is this. 24 scrap I can get. Is there anything I can do at a store? I could buy fuel, drone parts, or repairs. I think I'd rather go through the nebula than take a pointless store jump. I guess I could see what's there, and if I get something to sell, I could go back. Ugh. Man, I've got the four store. Nothing to sell sucks. I mean, I'd love to buy a burst laser one, but... Should I delay my shield value for a chance to come back for a burst laser one? One extra uh, empty, one nebula didn't give an extra jump. I know, that's why I didn't end up going to doing it. I, f I felt like the value of at least checking the store was worth more than a half a jump gain. What do we think, chat? Is it worth delaying our second shield for one, two, potentially three, four, where we come back to the store and get a burst laser one? Uh, when you started the shield list, you thought boarding ships would be the worst, but at least they have a way to end fights that doesn't require system stay up. Need two scrap awards to be able to afford burst later one, or one with a drop. Alright, what I will do is I will delay shield value for two jumps. Will I do that? Because I feel like this, this ship, as much as I'm complaining about burst laser 2 not being good enough on its own, it kind of needs help, so... Oh, 
that is actually enough. I could go back and sell that and get first laser one. I think I take one extra jump, do I? Or is that too greedy? Just go there, sell that, get the laser. Uh, 35. Let's do one more jump. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. He is running. Oh, I gotta shoot piloting. Okay. We lose a jump and don't get the store because I was greedy for this jump. I will be sad. He's got a value point in piloting. God damn it. Of course he fucking does. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. Does he have three crew? He does, right? Okay, I just have to keep shooting piloting because if he runs, we don't even get the store. Jesus, stop dodging. A third of our shots, please. I need artillery to not suck. Artillery. Don't suck, artillery. Hit four rooms, please. Nice. All right. Hashtag never punished. Killing the next border will be huge. What next border? See? Artillery's not bad, Rand. It saved you. Yes, it saved me. All right. Can I sell the distraction buoys and get this weapon online? Actually, I can. What do we think, Chad? Is this worth? I kind of think this is worth even before shields. <clears throat> Goodness, water down the runks. Uh, <clears throat> two, one second. <clears throat> we would take one power out of engines, one power out of uh, artillery, and we would have five shots compared to three. All in, love it, be the pirate. This delays our shields. This, that's the downside of this. But I think five shots instead of three is worth delaying our shields, I think. Feeling so saved and blessed by artillery right now. Wow, so saved and blessed. We would have had two safe fights if I'd gotten the second shield. But I also wouldn't have these extra shots, so I don't feel bad about this at all. See if we get punished. Yeah. Two damage. Beam shot. Rand, are you familiar with chess's hand and brain style of play? No, I'm not a chess player. One person says the piece to move. Hold on a second. One person says piece to move, i.e. rook. The other has to figure out which rook to move and where. Do you think FTL hand and brain could be an interesting run idea? Uh... Interesting? Sure. How it would work? I don't know. Well, what would that be like? Chat says something and I have to upgrade that but figure out how to... I don't, I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work. Rest artillery, you've worked hard. Yes, you've worked so hard. Watch the Twitch chess hand and brain tournaments. It sounds interesting. I'm not sure how it would work in FTL. I'll take that deal. You'd have to have a second person helping. Yes, but what would that second person be doing? Like, if you get boarded and one person says Mantis and the other per person decides what the Mantis has to do? It sounds a little simplistic. Like, it'd be kind of easy to figure out. I feel like... Uh, I Ugh, oh, damn it. Oh, fuck you and your triple fucking dodge to keep your goddamn weapons online. Fucking hell. I mean, if I didn't depower the, the shield, I think we were ioned anyway. But Jesus, man. Why did that guy dodge? Three out of five? Two out of five? Four out of five? Something insane. Yeah, I think we were guaranteed for the ion to hit because of the hacked piloting there. For example, if you're the brain, deal with the borders during a fight, you tell your partner, focus on power, weapons or crew, and it makes it kind of a co-op experience. I mean, sure sounds interesting. 
Chat says venture rock. You have to do it. Yeah, I don't know about that one, though. Chat says solo up and you figure out which one will make you throw hardest. <laughs> Hand isn't allowed to focus on one of those things till the brain says focus on it. You're on mobile. Can't link your previous message. I, I think I read it, didn't I? Yeah, I read it. Where was RPG Nerdo's mod there? That was a perfect opportunity for IRL Rand to offload that task. Well, it wasn't a missile, so... If I get power, I'm gonna need power, but... I'll be low on power. QI watch FTL saying, Rand, you're always low on power. To get my second shield. Okay. Alright, I'll say not a bad Sector 1. We got a weapon upgrade, and we almost have our shields. Zoltan or Rebel Sector 2? Rand, check the VOD. <laughs> Man, you're not reading chat fast enough. God. Uh, auto ship dodge every burst of your shot. I don't know. I just thought you had. Kind of like your hacking hole damage. Yeah, yeah. Was, it was not that great. Um, hold on a sec. Let me think. It's hard for me to respond to really long messages and play a game and think through options sometimes. I don't expect it. So just probably need to be a little more patient. I'm going to go rebel because I don't want to deal with Zoltan borders. And also I have green sectors after. So uh, I don't think it's a terrible idea, this hand and brain thing. It would take some figuring out how how you decide who did what, but I don't think it's a bad idea. Rebel 2 isn't too awful. No double offensive drone ships yet. Player 1, human. Ran straight to the airlock. Yes. Okay. Uh, you don't think you like either of those sector choices. I don't think Rebel's the worst right now. A sleeping dragon said at least they can't have two offensive drones yet. Now you don't have to apologize, unexpected. Just be patient. Just be patient. If you ask me a question, I cannot guarantee I will read it within, you know, five seconds or something. It's, it might take me a bit. All right, uh, okay, let's get our shields, even though we don't have the power for it. We can depower this, do something like this, and we can train now if needed. Uh, this is, the exit begins right on the edge, so I don't know how many nebula jumps I need. Two nebula jumps definitely gets me one. Well, one nebula jump gets me 13. I don't know if two gets me 14 or not. It's running. Oh, but if I do this, we're safe from damage. So let's get piloting down first. Then we will. We don't have a breach chance to make this, so we can't ever run, do I? No, it's under fire. Um, how can you activate the map jump indicator? Your bet is that the beacon exit begins not a dive. Uh, the map jump indicator. Well, in game, in game, there's an option called. I never turn it off. So, show beacon paths on hover. You can disable that. Which means I will not see the jumps. If you mean that, it's this button right here. Show beacon paths on hover. Uh, if you mean the fact that I can see these lines, that's a mod called Extended Pursuit Indicator. If you mean Hyperspace, which shows every connection in every sector, that's that's a different mod. That's a Hyperspace mod with a little uh, down right part of the screen. There's a little magnifying glass you click to ticket. So there's a couple different things, whichever one you're talking about. Try to block all our shots using drone face tank strats. That's right. All right, half power. Okay. I'm a little low on power. Do I watch FTL? By the way, Rand, shoot about power. <laughs> okay, let that hit, then turn on dodges. Not need it. We have four two. We're good. Means the fleet pursuit counter. Is that what it means? Well, there you go. There's a link to a mod for it. There's other versions of it out there, and I think the one I'm using is not even that version anymore, but highly recommend 
extended pursuit indicator. Hyperspace option always looks so visually busy to you. It's quite useful though, because you can it does let you instantly see when you have an isolated section of the map. But it also still feels a little little cheaty to me. But you know, I have it turned on when I play hyperspace, so. You don't think that mod command is much up to date, but it gives some names and ideas to start off. Yeah, you can Google. I'm pretty sure if you went to the link for that extended pursuit indicator, it would give you a workable one. I think that's the original, but there are just other ones out now. Namely, my Copley's is the one I'm using, I think. Okay. Okay, I'll read the wall of text in a bit. <laughs> Blunder pig. Fuck you, FTL. Okay. There might be a crew kill here, but with his weapons and a pulsar, I kind of don't even want to try. Damn it, hit my weapons and shields. It didn't hit his weapons, damn it. I don't think I did that right. Okay, our shields are up at least. Oh man, that's two things where his weapons didn't go offline and my weapons did. That's effing stupid. Come on, man. Now I can't even craft the damn fire. There's the door ion. Let's heal up first. You need to heal. Alright, you've had this interesting, joyful journey on this channel where I've seen you grow as a streamer from strength to strength to grow your community. I know it's tough reading through every long rant <laughs> from strangers, then react to them in real time while also playing extra games. I hope you don't let this extensive post distract from the fact that in 1998, the Undertaker threw mankind off hell in a cell, plumbed it 16 feet through an announcer's table. I am glad, really glad I took the time to read that really important message. I'm really glad I took the time. <laughs> well done, Plunder Pig. Good troll. Great A trolling. Uh, he's got a steel chair, King. God, he had a family. Okay. Okay, let me wait for this. Hyperspace Connections is less cheaty than Extended Pursuit. The Extended Pursuit is such a nice quality of life for improvement. Who cares if it's kind of cheaty? Yeah. Again, my response to that is, yeah, I could, I could understand people think it's cheaty. But then I remember that FTL can have five shields on slug ships and more than eight weapon power, and then it doesn't bother me so much. Uh, you don't think it's cheaty? It's really not giving you any more info than you already have. Just means you spend less time during the sector, figuring the sector out. Okay, uh, let's do this. A repair burst for fuel. Okay. Uh, one more power, and then I don't feel quite so power starved. All right. Okay, so I gave away fuel, and now I'm uh, escorting this guy, so. I, sadly, I don't get the, uh, the wrestling uh, <laughs> references. I've never been a pro wrestler watcher, so I'm sure your references are hilarious. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't watch wrestling. I never, even as a kid. The only wrestler I knew anything about was blonde guy, uh, Hulk Hogan. Although I also kind of know a little bit about Macho Man Randy Savage because he was in Spider-Man 2. So, you know. The bone saw is ready! I know, I know about that guy. Piece of paper, argument versus extended pursuit indicator. Yeah, that's the other one. Uh, I think generally you'd be hard pressed to consider quality of life mods cheating. Uh, you you just sound a lot like one of the commenters in one of my missile voice clips. It's amazing. Uh, this link, the Undertaker threw mankind off hell in a cell. <laughs> know your meme. Okay, I'll check that out later. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna get the nebula just to guarantee we have eight. Not even take a chance to dive. So eight, seven, six. Three, two, one, something like this. You're going nowhere! I've got you for three minutes! 
or however, however he says that. Man, how how does he have a voice? Like that sounds like literal, actual. His 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 vocal cords should be outside of his mouth and fallen on the ground and stepped on him the way his voice sounds. I don't. I don't know he how he has an actual voice. Five, six, seven. Remember the wrestler with the stinky sock? That was mankind. Focus, Ran. I can't. Chat's distracting me. Okay, this is safe fight. We can train here. So, since we're training, deal with the borders first. And then we'll train. We won't be able to train weapons here, sadly. I don't think anyway. Deal with the borders before we deal with the training. Uh, don't get my guys killed, please. Okay. Alright, get everybody healed, and then it's time for training. And I don't think I ever reset my uh, uh, speed hack, so I better go out and do that just to avoid any crashing shenanigans. Okay, there. I could cross train if needed. I could train my weapons with repair bomb, chat. I should totally do that. If this guy had second shield, we actually would be able to fully train, but I'm gonna not be wishing for that. Right, cheat engine. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, what happened to Slim Jim? Yeah, he's the Slim Jim guy. Uh, can get 16 points of weapon training with repair burst. <laughs> Love that in his explanation of how the copy pasta came about, he put the copy pasta at the end. That's amazing. I'll have to check that out later. One of the streams you follow has a TTS command where you can send him different tiers of bits and then allows you to post long rants, then get read out loud by a robot bot. Voice is hilarious. Fun comedy of de degenerates. There's, there's some streamers. I see that that have done that too and I I think that's funny too I wouldn't ever want to put that on my chat because it's really really easy to get it take advantage of and people do racist stuff you probably would need modders screening that kind of stuff I have a feeling a lot of streams who allow that don't screen it that much to be honest we might be able to crew kill this with uh we might be able to go for crew oh two crew kill here and one of the biggest things, check for granted, this game is value points. Literally don't think you've ever gotten the value point in level one shield for instead of having that for the full second shield. You think that's such a misplay if you're going to do it anyway? Well, it's just something to consider. It's got level 202. Um, I don't think you should always get second uh, shield value point before being able to get the shield, but on ships where you're going to get second shield anyway, it is often a good idea. Like, if I had gotten shield value point on this ship, Instead of saving my money, I wouldn't have been able to get that burst laser one. So there are times, like every strategy in FTL, where you don't do the same thing every time. He doesn't have strong mods and he has to allow the TTS to start. It doesn't autoplay. Ah, oh, okay, so he reads it first. Sounds like a lot of work for the streamer to, uh... <laughs> check every single one, but it does sound like fun. There is there is a streamer I watch who has that too, and it's in like this funny like pirate voice or some other thing. I think it's a misplay that you never do it. Yeah, I could see that. There are definitely times where you should do it. But again, I would not get too bent out of shape about, it's a misplay that I don't do X. There are a lot of things that newer players don't do that they should that would improve their win rates, their ability to crew kill, which I can't do when this guy dodges everything, right? Uh, well, you know what this is doing? This is actually getting me some weapon training, so I, I won't actually force this. Get a couple extra shots just for the weapon training. That one guy repairing O2 has got to be pissed. I just fixed that part, yes, yes. Good question. If you shoot a repair bomb at our enemy ship, does it repair the system? Uh, yes, I believe it does. I believe repair bomb works on enemy ships. 
And I believe rare repair bomb, if you shoot it in a ship with Zoltan shields that you've done some shield Zoltan shield damage to, will actually repair their Zoltan shield. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's an interaction that I've never tested, but I've heard about. Which is kind of ridiculous. But I think that does that. Can you repair your own Zoltan shield that way? Uh, I don't think so because... I think the reason it does that to enemy Zoltan Shield is because Zoltan Shield blocks the bomb. Your own shields do not block your bombs, so I think it would just... You have on board free Zoltan Shield bypass on your own ship, I think. But I don't know, that's a, that's a Mike Copley or... Oh man, heavy laser. Um, oh man, I can just buy it. Or Sleeping Dragon, or maybe I watched FTL or other person question. They might they might know better than me. Man, hacking is good, but a freaking heavy laser right now? My weapons are going to be good through, like, sectors four, five, or six or something. Almost get hacking. I'm just going to get that, man. That. And one more fuel. Probably hacking was the buy there, but, man, this is going to be a good weapon system. Pretty sure you can't repair burst your own Zoltan shield. Okay. You're not sure you've ever actually used a repair burst? Yeah. I don't remember the last time I did. Actually, I do. Chat, do you remember? Do you remember the run where a pre-ignited repair burst actually saved our run? Do you all remember that? Pepperidge Palm remembers. And also, I remember. We actually had a run where we got a free repair bomb when we had pre-igniter and somehow that saved a run yeah was it a clone bay is that what it was it was a clone bay that saved our crew or something we did like a jump and the pre-igniter repair bomb that we repair bomb we got somehow stopped us from losing crew uh i'm not gonna chance that because if we fail we have a dive you can't believe that run actually won Somebody had to find that run. I forget which one run it was, but it, we did have a run saved by that one time. Somebody is going to have to go for a Google search on that. Because... Uh, um, I can't even begin to remember which run it was and how long ago it was. I might have put in the description... Pre-ignited repair bomb saved the run. So if you just Google Rand pre-ignited repair bomb, it might actually pull up the run. So somebody somebody do some Google searching. Somebody can probably find it. So it might be in the description of the video. If past Rand did his work right. Alright, dope rewards nice. What's my next goal? Just getting this weapon online sounds pretty good, but probably need power. Also, saving for hacking is a pretty good idea, too. Oh, oh. That's a pretty good quest reward. Thanks. Thanks for escorting us. Here is 50 scrap worth of free stuff. You know what? I love 50 scrap worth of free stuff. Damn it. If this store has hacking, I'm going to have to think about selling a weapon for hacking. No, I won't, because I got a Zoltan Shield Bypass to sell, actually. Time to hard pivot the board and get TP. No, I don't want to do it. And I don't have to do it because we have hacking. We're doing a hacking ship. Hacking plus good weapons is what we're doing. I don't have to and I don't want to, so we're not doing it. We have hacking and good weapons. This is how I want to play the ship. Chain laser. Didn't even notice. Have all of my missiles. Thank you. Thank you. Great time to sell missiles there. Civilian in the perfect place. Nice. You just watched The Undertaker throw mankind of a hell of a hell in a cell 15 times and loved taking in JR. What a commentator. Okay. Think this is the link from the video? So which one was this? This was a Slug C sixth run one year ago. Wow, I've been working on this hard mode no pause random ship streak for over a year now, man. Whew, am I getting better? I think I am, but am I actually gonna ever successfully make it happen? I don't know, man. Do I do this? This is a lot of nebulas. 
I feel like we're almost guaranteed to find manly search. Do I get the level 2 piloting or do I just gamble it with 5 crew? Or just gamble it with 5 crew? Losing either the mantis or the human wouldn't be the end of the world. I just don't want to spend 20 scrap on piloting, so I'm going to not do that. I'm going to spend scrap on power. I have an uneven, uneven number of power, so half power jump. I won't get any extra power by getting one power right now. YouTube playlist goes back to 2021. Notice when you were getting the runs to put on the track the other day. I, I feel like that playlist, I can't remember if that was, if I have some runs from the first time I attempted this challenge or not, though. In the heel bay. Okay, we get there in time. Okay, good. So if that's the case, I've been working on this for two years. I've been working on this for two years. I don't know. Time is an ephemeral concept that I can never accurately keep track of, so. Frickin' humans and no snacks. No snack bringing humans. The worst type of humans. One, two, three. I'm not even gonna count the nebula jumps. I'm just gonna go to all of them. Because this, this exit beacon sucks. It is like almost as far left as I think you can go. So I need as many nebula, nebula jumps as possible to just not get screwed out of jumps this sector, I feel like. By the way, thank you again for creating that playlist, Sleeping Dragon, or that um, tracker. So I'm sure it was work to look up all those runs. And I appreciate you putting in the time and effort to do all that. That tracker is going to be super useful. All right. Um, weapon level two hack, or save for cloaking. Save for cloaking is going to be later. So I think I might do power and then weapon upgrade next. Not low on drone parts, but that's nice. I am low on fuel, which is not nice for running through this nebula. <laughs> That's turning into, out to be quite empty right now. God, I hope I don't run out of fuel just checking all these nebula jumps. Okay. Alright, that's good. Uh, you being uh, weapon trained is not so useful. So what I'm going to do is have you be my shield guy, even though that loses shield training. I'd rather have my mantis free to deal with borders. Three nebula jumps does get us nine, so I will. So it was good to get all these. How much talk of time? Have you heard about the hungry clock? It went back four seconds. I get it. Um, okay. Just make sure. Okay. okay. Guarantees he can't run. Scared of this beam two drone. Damn. Just hoping we take no damage. Only one is not terrible though. This fire doesn't spread. Let's make sure it doesn't. That's good. No fuel, man. If you're gonna give me low scrap award, could you at least give me a couple fuel? Please? All right, let's just go all in on our weapons. Our offense is crazy good right now. Best off, best defense is a good offense. Best defense is blow their face off. All right. Uh, let's kill mind control. Get a little bit more training by getting one more full volley off. Good. Well, that's really good rewards. It's not fuel, but it's really good rewards. <laughs> I'm gonna be so strong 
and not be able to move anywhere from all these incredible rewards that don't include any fuel. Uh, oh no, the shield training, I know. We have artillery for even more offense. Do my Carolyn colleagues know about my streaming? Yeah, basically everybody I know knows that I stream. Um, I don't like hide it or anything, but okay, at least we get a store here. Um, not many people that I know would care about watching through the stream. I have one of my caroling fellow singers, she's an alto, I think she's a gamer. Her and her husband watched for a little bit and thought it was pretty funny when I was raging and stuff, but. Yeah, pretty much everybody I know knows I stream for a living. As well as sing. Murder, always the answer, you know it. Okay. Hey, what's up, uh, Sin the Great? Usually I only watch on YouTube. Figured you need to at least catch me once. Well, awesome. Always love having folks catch the live stream. You thought war crimes are always the answer. Eh, it's the same. All right, well, I said I was going to just chance this. Do I still chance it with that extra Zoltan? Yeah. Yeah, it's always gains. Darn. We lost our fully trained dodging mantis. Anybody else have any dodge training? Nope. So that is a punish. But we did gain 12 scrap. That was <laughs> actually probably not worth, but... End game weapon sector 3 is nice. It is. You can beat the fleet soon if they get to you. Small bomb potential uses fourth weapon. Yes, absolutely. I'm not going to upgrade it yet because our next upgrade needs to be uh, hacking 2, and I need power. Hacking 2 and power. Okay. I knew that was going to be in this sector, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it. Do I dive for that? Four, three, two, yeah, I'm two jumps away from being able to get it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I could get a bunch of jumps, but I think I'm just going to say thanks for the free whatever you gave me and, and say have a nice life over there. One of uh, our younger carolers that joined us last year uh, is a huge anime fan, and I think uh, I think he likes to watch. Um, man, if that was eight fuel, I'd take it. Uh, I think he likes to watch, um, like, Street Fighter type games, like, uh, competitive fighter games. Because one of our rehearsals we went to is in some random place where there was a TV and he had his phone plugged in the HDMI or the USB or something. And was watching some, some Street Fighter competition or something. He's like, oh, okay, alright. Got another gamer around here, that's cool. The reward isn't the destination, it's the war crimes we made along the way. <laughs> the war crimes we made along the way. Not that we committed, we made them. I made this. No, I made this. No, I made this war crime. I made this. That is a pretty strong ship. Thank you for the prime sub, Synthegrate. Really appreciate you stopping by and supporting the stream. Today. It's awesome. Ooh, I do not have enough power as usual. I don't want him to do that damage. But I don't have the dodge here. Okay. Let's do this. I still have five shots. So I can do this. Let's help repair that. Freaking good dodges that guy had. Okay, back to positions. Positions. Come on. No, it was not worth depowering that. Uh, let's gonna get that down anyway, it's fine. I don't actually want to bench you. Okay, and you repair. I guess we're getting repair training from this, so thanks, I guess. Definitely not a ship I could have dodged, trained on. Double reward is good, though. 
Brand new war crime hype. The need to make new classifications after what we've done. <laughs> what have I done? I have brought justice to an unjust galaxy. That's what we've done. With a little fire uh, uh, against defenseless, you know, civilians. What's, what's wrong with that? Well, what's a little fire between friends? A little setting your crops on fire between friends. The hero... Yeah, I better hack these weapons. I, sh I should at least desync them. I think I don't even need to level two back. I just let that fire hack at level one. And now they should be desynced. And you know what? I was gonna say this might be dodge training, but I don't think they'll be forever desynced. Oh god, I don't even know if they're desynced right now. Uh, not more generous enough. Okay, we got a little dodge there. Okay, I'm going to purposefully... Um... Make this fight take longer. For potential extra dodge drain. Potential double reward here. Uh, yeah... I don't know that I can crew- well, I have a small bomb. You know what? Maybe I can't crew kill this. Might be a little late in trying to do it, though. Yeah, it might be worth the bombs to go for this. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Always respect no pauses. Your street card random ship with pause. Personal best is 24. Still proud. That's something to be proud of. That's a good streak. Perfect. No. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it without using one more missile if possible. Got it. Small bomb for to win. Did we get a double reward? No, they left. Not even gratitude. Didn't even give me gratitude. Appreciate the respect, Day Days. You've definitely been working on the streak for a while. Apparently over a year or two. And I didn't realize because I just haven't been keeping track. Alright, civilian is definitely the better choice. The problem is we might have a potential for Zeltan. So... Do I, do I go rock that I really don't want just to avoid potential for Zeltan? Nah, we go civilian. We might be able to get cloaking this sector too. Need a blue option to chase them down and extort them. <laughs> extort the people who we saved. We saved you now. Play us protection money for saving you. I didn't ask you to save me. That doesn't matter. It's not how this works. Break your ankles. Give me my money. We protected you. Ah. Uh... One, two, three, four. One nebula jump, so eight, nine, ten, yeah. Okay. Booking this sector would be great, because uh, our ship would basically be done. Uh, okay, well, at least it's not quarters at a, at a solar flare. Yeah, hack the weapons. You know, even if the store only gives me backup battery, I'd be very happy, because... <laughs> Backup battery would be very helpful right now. Feeling low on power, but I'm saving all my scrap for cloaking. What is wrong with me? What's wrong with me is I prioritize systems over power, I guess. Okay, one damage, not too bad. Nope. Do, 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 do. What's wrong with me is I complain about not having power and then continue to buy systems instead of buying power. Or saving for my systems. I'm just like Farb. Me and my doppelganger are always playing low power, although he's probably much better at that. Well, we have enough to get cloaking now. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Hopefully rewarded for saving for cloaking. And this door has cloaking, I hope. I think that might be a basic laser or heavy laser halberd beam, so I think that's safe. Okay, nice. 
No, yeah, is, yes, that's a basic laser. No, that's a burst laser one? I can't tell. Why is my brain not working? It's a basic laser, right? Yes, basic laser. I don't know why my brain was thinking, couldn't figure out what that was for a bit there. Because I was stressing out about, I assumed it was a basic laser, and then I saw it charging and thought maybe that was not a basic laser. <clears throat> Refuel, not a bad deal. It's not that good though. Uh, wow, he has three crew. I thought this ship only had two crew. This layout, it's got four crew. Okay, well, okay. Definitely not crew killing that. Then. Nice double reward. Beautiful. Oh no, is that an artillery spot? It is a Monomiku. Don't worry, it won't be. It won't be powered. Don't worry, pretend it's not there. That's how I look at it. I pretend it doesn't exist. Even though it did kill one ship that was trying to run away from us in Sector 1. From us in Sector 1. No cloaking. Alright, well at least it has the other thing I said I wanted, which is backup battery. Is there another store? No. So let's get backup battery. Some weapons something to think about. I don't need to spend scrap on weapons right now. One, two, three. Let's get a little fuel and power. Uh, fuel and something uh, repairs so six five four three okay six five four three two okay if, we, if, I, if I beeline it to this one nebula we will get six jumps so let's do that let's get one more power still afford cloaking that's the main the main benchmark for scrap saving, be able to afford cloaking at any store that appears happens to appear. Shieldless ship with cloaking. That is one weak weapon system. Um, this might be my opportunity to get my replacement Mantis Dodge trained. Yeah. Damn. Hey, good dodge. All right, let's let him repair, though, because if he has either of these weapons online, but not both of them, I'm going to slow train a little bit. It's worth retraining. I've only dodged four. This guy has shield training. Maybe I should put the, maybe I should put the Zoltmon engine, since this guy's got shield training. I don't know. Maybe it's not even worth the training. I don't know. Yeah, I could retrain slowly. If you can repair them, we breach, that would be good. Can we breach? I guess heavy laser could breach. That's true. We could do it safely. If we let him repair back to this being online, then breach him. That would be the way to do it. Good call, good call. I, I forgot that we had a weapon that can breach, to be honest. Because then we could uh, we could train with speed hack on if we breach it. I don't think Ion Blast Mark II could ever O2 crew kill us, could it? By itself? Maybe it could, but I don't think it ever would. I think it'd have to, we'd have to be ridiculously unlucky for him to hit our O2 that many times. Into the breach. We need to create one, but yes. You could make yourself immune by putting Zolt in there. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, let's see. If I breach now, it would work too, I think, because, well, actually, if I go to sensors, I can see what level weapons are being repaired, right? No, not yet. I think it's high enough that the basic laser would stay online. I don't want to spend a drone part just to check for safety. So I'm going to shoot after this happens. We have safe training. All right. And since, uh, well, the thing is I actually want... Okay, and now it doesn't even matter because he can't ion crew kill us. So this is this is safe. Safe training. So we want... 
shield and dodge training, yes. Game so easy. So easy game. Alright, there's shield and engines level one. Uh, our piloting is maxed. I could cross train here if I want to. You know, I might actually want to swap shields and engines guy for some cross training too. Poking sound effect. <laughs> this is the first time I think we've done training and said with cloaking. That is a weird sound. I know it's very ominous. Makes it sound like there's some kind of heavy machinery going on in the background. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I almost made a big mistake there moving during that. Thank God we had two shields. Frickin' don't move your Zoltans during speed hack. It's fine. It's fine. Never punished. Now that guy's shield trained. I'm cross training my Zoltan on dodging because this might be useful. Yeah, sped up cloaking is weird. That was almost really bad. Thankfully, we had the value point in shield, or the two shields against one laser. Ooh boy, that was a stupid play of me. Frickin' Zoltans, man. Frickin' Zoltans ruining everything. How close are you? Three more dodges. Yeah, you know, I just, I got a, I got a machine in the back. It's, uh, I don't know. It's cutting metal. And that's what it's doing. It's cutting metal. That's not, that sounds like a machine that could cut metal, right? That uh, should do it. Now I'm going to turn off speed hack so I don't accidentally hit that button at some point and kill myself. Ooh, nice double reward. Okay. One, two, lets me see all of those. Three, lets me see these. Four, lets me see that. Okay. As long as our second or third store and or third store isn't up there, we should have another chance in the store for cloaking this sector. It's a machine that lifts things up out of the salt mines. <laughs> I thought nothing could leave once you've descended into salt mines. There is no escape. It's like the Hotel California. You can check in, but you can never leave. Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Um... Do I crew kill this ever? He boards a second time. Oh, he doesn't because I killed the mantis. Oh well. Thank you for the follow, Bean MD. Go heal. Such a lovely place. What a good song. One of the uh, songs on my playlist I sometimes play before the stream is Hotel California, played by a Chinese. Um, what is the instrument that's like? They lay across their lap and pluck. Or maybe they use hammers. I don't know. It's one of the one of the Chinese stringed instruments. I really like the Chinese stringed instruments. I think they sound cool. There's one called an Erhu, Erhu, Erhu something like that, which is like a Chinese violin, which I think is just a really cool sounding instrument. Okay, half power. Trues on board. They're over here, okay. Man, I'm sad that I lost that second mantis, but I just had to do that manly search thing. I just had to do it. Okay, let's not let you get vented. Okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Yes, we're safe. Frickin' humans. At least they brought snacks, these humans. At least they brought snacks. It's like a Jinshen or something like that? Okay, okay. Erhu, you think it's pronounced Arhu. Arhu? Arhu? Okay. I don't know Chinese pronunciations. But, uh... I've just seen the... I, I could pull it up. It's actually on my playlist. I could pull it up, but... Ooh, there we go. Alright, one, two... 
three. I thought I'd have, be able to see this one, but I guess I can't. But, chance for cloaking right here. That wasn't even close. It was a gugkin, gukin, guking or gajang. Okay. <laughs> Please, anybody who speaks Chinese, do not take my poor pronunciation as offense. I have no idea how to pronounce Chinese. Even though I've watched a lot of Jet Li movies. Um. Hmm. Well, our systems are done. Our weapons are pretty good. What's our next goal? I guess get small bomb online or maybe get max dodge. Level three hacking, level three, two cloaking, one of those things. Hadouken! <laughs> I think the Q is like an SH sound. Gushin? Gushin? Something like that. The cloaking is diving on the table. Only if it's worth, and this is not a worthwhile dive. How to know a worthwhile dive? Good question. It depends. Definitely doesn't feel like it in this situation to me. I don't have a hard and fast rule for when it's a good time to dive. It usually has to do with the sector layout. Let's see the dodge entire volley is nice. Beautiful. Q is like CH in Chinese. So, Guchin? I don't know if they even do that hard of a CH in Chinese, do they? I feel like it's usually a softer sound. Guchin? Something? I don't know. It's, it's, I would be totally going by what I've heard in movies and like YouTube videos and stuff, so. There is one language I could not pronounce. Well, there are many, but Chinese and Japanese would be two of them. I've done a little bit of Korean in some singing stuff, but Korean, I think, is very different from Chinese. And probably a lot of the Eastern languages, I think, are very different from each other. I feel like there's less relationship between a lot of the Eastern languages than there is between, like, say, Spanish and Italian or English and German or something. But again, this is from my ignorance, not knowing those languages very well. Korean sounds very pog. <laughs> very pog, huh? Uh, okay, it's not a Force Zoltan. I'll take that. Quest. Quest. I forget what this quest is. Let's see what it is. A free NG, alright. A free weapon NG, huh? Eh, we'll just put you on. Sensors is fine. All right. Um, let's check if there's a store down here, then we'll head back up to this store. Yeah. I have a feeling this run is going to end pretty strong, and I'm going to have to make a decision about doing a third run today, and I have a feeling I'm going to have to decide to end quite early because of the way my hands are feeling, which I hate to do, but I'm, it's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Okay, and that is a flak. Okay. Yeah, that was some good dodges there. Okay. Alright, well, blocking shots with your face. It's a pretty pog drone right there. Right, I need to pull the pilot here. If I hit engines, I should pull them, right? Yeah, four fuel is not a bad deal. I want more scrap, as usual. 40 scrap is a lot of scrap. Check this to see if there's a second store down there. Now, let's be, just beeline it to the store, then we could check afterwards. Uh, shield, their ship with ours. Four damage, 23 scrap, yeah, say that's worth. That is worth. All right, if there's nothing good at the store, we get either third shield or weapon online. Probably, uh, maybe the dodge, we'll see. 
That is a halberd beam. And that's a long range scanners. I want both of those. I'm gonna sell burst laser one. I'm gonna buy halberd. Buy long range scanners. A little fuel and repair. And then I'm gonna think about clone bay. I got insanely lucky this run, huh? Okay, sure. It's, I mean, I, I don't know about insanely lucky because I haven't got like 20 free weapons. I've had runs where I've gotten more luck than this for free weapons, but we're not dead. So if we're not dead and that equals insanely lucky to you, then sure. I think this has been an above average run so far. I'm gonna not get the weapon online yet, cause, well, if there's a flak at this store, would I buy it? Is that even a question? Yeah, I'd buy it. Let's check it. Didn't we just do burst two halberd last run? I think. I think maybe. Yeah, we started with a burst and we bought a halberd. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, nothing at this store worthwhile. Let's go ahead and do weapon upgrade then. I'm continuing with my a good, the best defense is a good offense uh, play here. Which means I haven't upgraded my engines or my shield, which feels a little sketchy, but we can just hack weapons. We should be good. I know, we're so lucky this run. We got a free halberd, I mean a free artillery at the beginning of the run. Yeah. Except they're off for a free stuff. Ah, halberd, the beam that artillery wish, wishes it was. He's going to hack my engines. I'm going to counter that. Cloak his missile and fire everything at weapons. What the hell? God. Okay. Is that is that the voice line where I sound like that guy from WWF? I bet you it's that one. Oh god, I hit his missed island with my laser. What the hell? <laughs> That's probably what that guy sounds like, who you always say I sound like. That was a bit like JR. Okay. They always have that, what would I call that? Like high subglottal pressure. <laughs> What's going on? Oh man, look at how amazing that is. Like the high energy. Uh, I don't know how you describe that. Let's do that. When you have that high buildup of subglottal pressure, it sounds very exciting, I guess. Gave it a posh name, you just call it a drawl, huh? Okay. I'd love a free mantis. Nice. Put you on sensors. You know, I gotta use my voice training for something, right? Subglottal pressure. I think I'm using a correct term. We are immune to damage. Do I does is that does that lead us to change our play here? With triple NG and a heal bay, I don't think we ever crew kill this, so. I could cross train. I don't see any need to do that. I could hack O2. Would O2 hack actually crew kill? You know what? Let's try it. I never... I gotta get past all these things. Let's see. Level 2 O2. I have a feeling I'm gonna do far too much damage to actually be able to do this against triple NG, but you know. What about super glottal pressure? I don't know exactly how that would work. Because all the pressure comes from below the glottis, I think. Whoops, that's far too much damage. Yeah, we're not crew killing this. <laughs> 
Uh, not with triple NG, NG medbot dispersal on level 2 uh, O2. I would have needed to have not done as much damage, but I failed that. It's whatever. All right, let's get power, and then we'll work towards third shield. So I'm going to do power and a shield value point to start. Nice dive. I mean, I'd get like two extra jumps. I don't think so. Unless you're talking about me not going immediately to the base. That was one of those where I'm about 70% sure it would be a dive if I went... If I went to one extra jump. Wow, that was a lot of dodges. Okay. Try one more time to not use a drone part. I don't know why I'm being so stingy with 18 drone parts. Because I'm always stingy. That's why. Okay. Because I want to farm repair training from the small bomb. That's my justification. And they're both empty because we have long range scanners. Potentially empty, yeah, yeah. Likely to be empty or less likely to be a ship fight. No guaranteed ship fight. That's a good reward. Yeah, that was it. Well, now this might be worth a dive. An extra guaranteed ship fight and a store might be worth a dive. Eh. Maybe I'm just getting cowardly in my old age. I don't even care. I don't even care. If I had mind control counter to do with borders and a dive, maybe I'd do it. But with a forced artillery on this ship instead of mind control, no reason. I'm just going to play it the safe, cowardly way. The safe, cowardly, hopefully successful way. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's an eight power weapon system, three shields, and cloaking. Okay, uh, we're going to do the cloak hacking cycle here. Because this is a scary ass ship. This is a scary ass ship. Please don't dodge all my crap. Okay. Do you need to reactively cloak? That. Double NG on shield repair duty. Okay. Alright. Double reward at least for that OP ship. Sir Rand bravely ran away. That's right. Just call me Sir Robin. No, I didn't. Clone Bay I could buy. Do I care about Clone Bay? Well, hmm... So, on ships like this where you're forced to have a system that's not ideal, in this case, artillery, we have to think about how are we dealing with mind control phase 3. Does clone bay help us deal with mind control phase 3 better, or does it make it worse than having a heal bay to run away to? This is something I think I should have considered on NGA when we were having trouble... Like, finding crew and stuff. Does Clone Bay help us for Mind Control Phase 3? Help me think this through, chat. With no slug on piloting... Speaking of, are there slugs for sale here? No. What is our plan for Phase 3 Mind Control? And does swapping out for Clone Bay help deal with that? Doesn't seem like a huge difference. The big problem in phase three with no mind controls your pilot gets taken over, leading to a bad spiral. But what medical unit you have doesn't make much of a difference there. I feel like there was somebody who mentioned that they actually sometimes like heal bay instead of clone bay. Because you can stack people in med bay. And if you stack people in med bay and one of your guys in med bay gets mind controlled, that might actually be better than if they're like, say, stacked in clone bay or something. I think I'm going to keep the heal bay. Just get like shield upgrade here. 
See if, see if Medbay will make a difference for Phase 3 of the boss fight. Hopefully we'll get some weapon that will help us crew kill. First laser, heavy laser, small bomb can be decent crew kills Phase 1 potentially. So I just want to kind of think through. Plan for Phase 3. Plan for the phase that's going to be the hardest, which is probably going to be Phase 3. You'd rather run RD4 personally because RD is a great guy. Okay. Gotta love that RD guy. Honestly, if we have enough scrap... RD4 is probably more used than shields uh, for to speed up the fight. Some offense we don't have to aim. It might actually have some value. Since we have cloaking, which makes uh, shields for less needed, I would say. So that might actually be something to, to consider, investing in artillery. After we have everything else, I feel like we need. Four already hasn't been used in Sector 1, as it should be. You, What I will say about artillery, in my experience, is that it gets occasional use in Sector 1, bef use in sector one before you get a weapon upgrade, and then sometimes after you've upgraded everything else on your ship that's important, boss fight, you throw some extra scrap into it and it helps a little bit. I would say, on average, that's the value I get out of artillery. We like to quickly gang kill the mind controlled crew and clone bay pop them out. Yeah, I like to do that too, Margicarp, and that's what I tried to do on one run. On I think it was the NGA run that got us killed when we didn't have the mind control counter and something else. I like that too, but it depends on how many crew you have, how many you can fit in a room, and who gets mind controlled. Because if you have a bunch of NGs, nobody's quickly killing anybody, because they are level 3 mind controlling your engine, and he's killing all your engines who do half damage to him, so I feel like that's not like a guaranteed, this always works type of strategy. I don't think I care about anything here. And there's Clone Bay again, but Got two fuel power hacking three, I guess. Hacking's done. Yeah, let's, let's not buy that. Triple Zoltan, this would be a great reactorless run store. You imagine? Yeah. Where's Mike? We found your store for reactorless run, sir. Oops, I did too many, uh... Wow. How did we... How did we take damage? I guess the combat drone plus burst laser and we didn't dodge anything. That's how we took damage. I was very confused about how he took any damage when his burst laser was the only thing that fired. Because I didn't take into account the combat one drone. Frickin' rebel disruptor with extra offense is what it was. My experience, you mainly use Artie by forgetting to depower it for boss stage one and it messes up crew kills. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Wow, you've watched me play a lot. Because that sounds just like past Rand. Future Rand's not going to do that. He's going to remember to turn that off while he crew kills. And then turn it on for phase 2 and 3. Totally, he's going to totally do that. Totally. Right. We do not have to be stingy with our drone parts. That is... Double NG boarding party, eh? Quad NG Pirates. Is that what this is? Is this actually Quad NG Pirates? Ha! <laughs> it is. Okay, well, let's see if we can crew kill Quad NG Pirates. I probably have done too much hull damage already. Oh well. Does right, somebody want to board me? Come on, the boarding's fine. We've got a heal bay. I don't think we ever actually crew kill him, but you know, I'll try. Problem is the uh, Vulcan's getting spun up and they're healing. It's not happening. It's not happening. Took your cat to the vet yesterday and they recommended joint health chews. She hates them. Medicated wipes. She hates them. And a calcium supplement. She will probably hate it. Wrangling cats is so much fun. <laughs> cats worse than children when it comes to making them take 
stuff that's good for them. Sorry to hear that, Pseudo Drifter. Do I care about another store? I mean, a fire beam to replace Albert Beam for phase one crew kills would probably be worth. Or a firebomb. I think I will check it. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't hack, I'd already hacked. I had already hacked. We're hacking weapons here. They really like boarding me down in this very specific room. It's their favorite room to, to board. Now you're thinking in fires. I feel like you might be um, influencing me somehow. That's an oh, you know, you know. Maybe there's a crew kill here. O2 is dead. He should board us again. The guy in there dies. We let him in. He boards us. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Lock you in. Musical um, weapon venting. These humans know how to vent themselves. I approve of these humans. Good job, humans. Good job. Ha <laughs> Stupid humans. Give them nothing, NG's feel no fear. Thanks for venting yourselves, humans. Uh, your cat will start foaming at the mouth if you try to give her any medicine because she's trying to spit it up. And she can smell you smell it when you put it in the food, so she'll avoid food meds with a food with meds in it. At least you're not alone in your feline caretaker role. You can you can commiserate with fellow cat lover. One, two, three, four. If I had a pet, I would have a cat. I like cats more than dogs. Don't tell the dog people out there. Dragon, sorry. Uh, I mean, I could go double halberd beam, which sounds even worse than other things. Um, small bomb for heavy laser. So heavy laser is better. However, small bomb does has does have one thing going for it, and that it can crew kill without doing whole damage. I think I keep small bomb over heavy laser because heavy laser would be an upgrade for killing the ship quicker. Potential side grade or downgrade grade for crew killing. You're actually intending to get a cat as well in a few months because Carissa has settled in. Nice. Unfollow, unsup, unlike, unalive. <laughs> Don't kill me. Um, I think I just keep this build because we can crew kill with this. And crew killing phase one is going to be very important with no mind control. Could swap out. It feels expensive to, to do to buy a heavy laser that I just plan to swap out. But we are in sector six, aren't we? One more sector. Nah, if 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 there was a weapon that was specifically better at crew killing than what we have, i.e., breach two, fire bomb, fire beam, I'd do it. This all feels too side, side grady to spend scrap on. I'm going to keep what we have in hopes that we can maybe do something like upgrade artillery for faster phase 2 slash phase 3 rather than spend scrap on a side grade. I don't think it would have been a terrible play to do that, but to, uh, to buy the heavy laser to swap out, it feels... inefficient might be the word I'm looking for. Oh, just too good. Feels inefficient when my main goal is to set up for crew killing phase one. No, we're not crew killing now. What sector is this you just tuned in? Sector six, about to go into sector seven. Grima go heal. Oh, you're not healed. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. Black one, burst laser two. Man, wish I had those weapons. Oh, I'll have some of those weapons. Let's be hero. Uh, what kind of drone is that? As a boarding drone. Cloak. Now. And I'm late on my hack. Alright, we dealt with the boarding drone quickly. Two drone part six fuel. If this was another run where I was low on those things, then yes, but we are doing quite well on consumables right now, so. My god. We got 20 scrap for that? Sector 6, 20 scrap. Sleeping Dragon, is that minimum? That feels that feels like that's gotta be minimum scrap towards Sector 6. Like, I can't even conceive of only getting 20 scrap. Oh, that's that stupid one where if the people run away and you don't get the double reward, that's actually a worse reward than if you take the deal. 19 to 27 is low. So it is one above minimum. Way to do the minimum, FTL. Way to do the minimum. NG or Zoltan Sector 7? I don't want to deal with uh, Zoltan Border Police. Generally speaking, am I happy with this run? Uh, yes. Generally, yes. Feels like a little bit of a way to jinx the run, but yes. I have these weapons, and I... As I usually say, I could complain, but I shouldn't. But I have been. But I, I, I shouldn't. For a Fed A run, this has been... Knock on wood, not the worst run ever. What do you hack? Shields, let's hack the weapons then. Please don't dodge literally everything, please. That was almost everything. But not quite everything, so alright. Good. Very good. Um Okay. Do I care about a store anymore? Again, I I would I did say if I found a more focused crew killing weapon I'd buy it. Check if there's any other stores up here. If not, we'll go down to the store. Getting scrap right now is pretty important. Okay, I will hack this guy's weapons. Oh, jeez. He's gonna die. Okay, good. Uh, this is. These are the type of fights that are terrifying. No hacking. I mean, um, no mind control. No clone bay. What All the, the micro to deal with the frickin' double mantis guys. None of the mind control to help deal with it. Okay. All right. There's a double fire in his weapons. There might be a crew kill opportunity here, so let me swap over to small bomb. Got lots of bombs. Please don't dodge this. Perfect. Okay. If I'm patient and his ship doesn't burn down first, we have a crew kill. Did my small bomb just start a double fire in the heal bay? That's crazy. Actually crazy. Got him. Nice. Beautiful. This game doesn't make sense to you anymore. You want to run where you pretty much dodge every fight for two sectors, but last one you were given a free flak one and two free burst laser twos. Wow. What ship were you on for the free weapons? Because <laughs> if you had all that stuff, but we're playing, I don't know, NGB and you never got crew, you just got crew killed, then I wouldn't be surprised, but that's kind of sucks. 
NGB. <laughs> Did I call it? Did I actually call it? Did you die to a crew kill? <laughs> yeah, although free weapons of the world can't save you from free mantis boarding or something with a single NG. Especially if your micro is still not super strong or confident against boarding shenanigans. Rand is the prophet. You always worry if FTL is being too nice with RNG. Yeah. Uh, this is Mantis. I mean, human gets us a Mantis. Mantis gives us scrap. Um, do I want another Mantis? <sighs> I don't have mind control counter. So the more Mantis I have, the more likely Mantis gets mind controlled phase three. Yeah, I think I'm going to just get the free scrap. Thanks for the free stiff. I almost wonder if I should... If I get an, an option to like get NG to replace a Mantis with an NG. Because NG's level 3 mind controlled are much less scary than a Mantis level 3 mind controlled. None of these weapons help me crew kill, game. Well, we've had this clone bay swap over option a number of times. Do I take it or do I go for the heal bay? Because as as smooth as this as this run is looking, I'm still afraid of phase three of the boss. If I can't crew kill phase one, I'm still afraid of phase three and mind control shenanigans. It wasn't a crew kill, but you never got hacked and cloaking or a defense drone. So you died to missiles. Mm. Sucks, King Sisyphus. That really does suck. Ah, <sighs> how do I deal? Well, let me let me think through. If say I'm about to go into phase three of the boss, I put all three of those dudes in there. Tell my rock dude to run to sensors while these guys go into other rooms I don't care about. And have like level two heal bay or something. Yeah, I feel like maybe heal bay will be a better way to deal with the my control crew phase three. Do I use any other mod than the jump num numberization and the better looking backgrounds? Um, yes, but they are all what I call cosmetic, which means they change audio or visual, but no gameplay. So when I dodge, there's a Dumble Doge icon that pops up that's a stream thing when missiles hit there's an audio change um, so there are some other things that I call cosmetic mods but I don't I don't use any mods that change gameplay right, let's start working on value points I guess which ones Dumble Doge the missiles one my Copley has one that makes Nebula look different. Nebulae. Um, my Copley is the one who created the the mod pack for me. So he would have to remind me of all the stuff that's... There we go. Firebomb. There's a crew killing weapon. Uh, he'd have to be the one to help remember, remind me of all the other stuff. Um, it's not much more than the lines and the backgrounds. The backgrounds are, I think, a My Copley changed backgrounds too. I think there might be a jump indicator line difference, but that's just the jump indicator, so. Yeah, that's an older list. So. I can't give away that fuel. I had just enough, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Well, we can go firebomb and small bomb for phase one crew killing now, which is pretty crazy. Don't need fuel. Trying to take my fuel and buy my fuel. Okay, we are hacking those weapons. Holy shnikes, there's some weapons. Fire's great. Let's go heal you guys. You should have zero goddamn dodge. I should use level two cloak there, actually. Okay, weapons are burned down. This is a potential crew kill. 
Um, uh, which means small bomb if I actually want a crew kill. I did that wrong. I meant to. That's fine. Let's do small bomb there. Okay, because I need his O2 to run out for us to actually crew kill this, I think. Don't use up all my bombs, but using a couple bombs for a crew kill is definitely worth it. Okay. Do, 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 do. That should do it. That should be the crew kill. Still on Fed A, yeah. This is probably the last run of the day. I'm going slow, kind of on purpose, but also to get like the extra crew kills like this. Eh, maybe not worth. Just because my hand is not feeling great. My right hand is not feeling great, so. Arthritis kicking in, I guess. So if I go slow on this run, I won't feel as guilty if I don't do a third run. This is a weird Rock B mod. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, um, you know what? Let's put Firebomb on our bar instead of Small Bomb. So if I'm going to Crew Kill instead of Halberd Beam, Firebomb probably, probably more useful. Yeah, all right. Uh, damn, can't do Giant Alien Spiders. No Clone Bay for that. One of the reasons why buying Clone Bay might have been a good thing if we got any of those blue options. Well, I guess that's not a blue option, but a protection from it. All right, value, 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 value. Almost all the value points at once. Maybe you wanted to go weapon power, meh. I probably on phase one of the boss go firebomb, small bomb, burst heavy, which seems like a weird build, but it should be a very, very effective crew killing build. Which is my main goal. Phase one, crew kill like crazy. Our takeaway from that. Our takeaway from that NGA loss, where we didn't have the mind control counter, was do all you can for the people you can, whatever, whatever that saying is. But no, do all you can to crew kill phase one. That means take extra damage, and using weird weapons, do it. It's Rock B, but we installed a door artillery system. <laughs> door artillery. Okay. What is that saying? Do all you can for the people you can for the... I don't know. It's probably something I heard at my church job or something. Are there any med bay options without upgrading med bay? No, I think every blue option that includes a med, that uh, involves med bay requires either level 2 or 3. Would door artillery system be an artillery that shoots doors, or doors that can only be all opened, closed on an artillery timer? You trust in the RAND 118, it's like, what's the difference between a really strong weightlifter and a really, 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 really strong weightlifter? Repetitions. Yeah. Am I about to run out of fuel before I get out? I thought I had exactly enough fuel. I think this might be the exit beacon, so I think I calculated perfectly, I think. That could have been damaged there. He's got level 3 piloting, damn. This is a truly federated crew. We have everything but a slug, Alanius, and Crystal, I think. Pretty diverse crew. Okay, perfectly calculated amount of fuel. Yes, but are there more doors or wheels in the world? Uh, I don't understand. All right, perfectly calculated fuel. Look at that. Right as we run out, we get 10 fuel and repairs. Okay. So, I have all the value points. What do I invest in? Shield value, weapon value, shields four, hacking upgrades. 
think shield value, probably the first important thing. Perfectly calculated run for you to poop on. Know your meme. Doors versus wheels debate. Viral debate about whether there are more doors or wheels in the world. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Not very interesting. Uh, yeah, we got fire a bomb equipped for the not enough time, exactly. And I'm probably going to do this for the first, first phase of the boss fight for a lot of crew kills. Okay. I want to hack weapons, but I feel like I need to hack shields for the shield thing. Missile. Frickin' Neo over Hopefully here. Just one shot as weapons. Yeah, I missed the shields. Damn. Damn, I'm about to get punished. So here comes the flak too. Oh, just enough dodges. Just enough dodges to not take damage. Wow. Uh, just enough dodges to take zero effing damage. To quote me. Nice double reward. Beautiful. Does any thin circular object count as a wheel? Oh my god, are we really gonna get it? Please, let's not debate if there are more wheels or doors in the world. I really don't care. <laughs> uh, are there more missiles or more... Three borders in the FTL universe. That one's easy. Missiles. More missiles. You'll take credit for that clutch trash volley dodge. Well done, Pseudo Drifter. Well done. You deserve all the credit for that. Alright. So I needed to I need to make a decision on what I'm spending my scrap on. Cause I could get fourth shield. I feel like it might be worth getting fourth shield if I'm gonna try to do low DPS, high crew killing weapons for phase one, so I think doing this is worth. Normally I don't do the fourth shield, and I said something earlier about artillery might be more useful than fourth shield, and it might be, but I kind of like this if I'm going to go for crew kills phase one, so let's do that. Alright, this is not enough time. So... want to do is kill weapons and clone bay as we kill his crew and swap halberd to firebomb to finish off the crew kills plan here bam nice okay I don't need to use all of my missiles here. Well, unless he dodges everything. If only he had pre igniter, that would be nice. It would have been expensive, though. I wouldn't have gotten force shield probably if I found a pre igniter this run. Happy fire day, everybody. This is my gift to you, chat. Death by fire. Vulcan with Halberd. That's a really good build he has there. Vulcan, Halberd, Heavy Laser 1. Could definitely kill the boss with that build. Probably would need cloaking and hacking to go with it, though, because of, you know. Free missiles the boss has. Do we let the ship burn down? It does you no good, so no, I'm not going to do that. If there was any value to it, maybe I'd be patient enough for that. Don't actually gain anything from letting a ship burn after you've crew killed it. You don't get to double dip on your rewards. There's the power. Honestly, you could probably use two more bombs than you needed. I mean, yes, I could have been more efficient with my bombs, true. Well, there's a store, and I do have a charge laser to sell and long-range scanners. He's going to get to the base in one, two, three. Means I'd get there after the boss if I go to the store. All right, I could go to the store and sell stuff. I'm choosing not to. They have a higher chance to get the repair, 
and so that I don't have to dive before the boss or have fewer chances to run away if we get a bad hack. I guess you should have said filled with fire instead of burned down. I mean, yes, we could have filled it with fire. Again, there's no value except the meme value, so... I know there's a lot of value in memes. But that is not my priority right now. Memeing to the max. There's no ships in the background, so this is not not enough time. For those who wonder how we know when it's a not enough time event, you can tell when there are ships in the background. So this will not be a lower scrap reward. Although 41 is not that good for Sector 8, but it's not the... Memes is serious business, though. It's true. Memes are serious business. Meme value, best value, unless you need actual value. What is not enough time? Not enough time is when you kill a ship in Sector 8. There are a bunch of Rebel and Federation cruisers in the background. And after you kill it, it says, You've killed the ship, but there's not enough time to fully scrap it because of something. And I just, I mean by saying, nah, nah, time, whenever we get that, so. It's basically a FTL screwing you message. One of many. Um, so let's just buy as much power as possible so I can have artillery online as needed. I could just go fight phase one now, and if we get a bad hack, we run to the base. Do I want to do that? Or could go to the repair earlier. Yeah, I think I want to do that, actually. So we get our bombs in the first position. Uh, small bomb will be value point for fire bomb here. This game says you might get killed. Leave with a small amount of scrap. It's world building. Yeah. Yeah, we could also run to repair after this phase if that stays up. So more likely to get the repair after the fight. So how are we doing the crew kill phase one? We hack shields. First laser, heavy laser shields, firebomb shields, small, small bomb missiles. We should get missiles down to where we can cloak first and second missile. That's going to be the plan. Okay. The goal being, we kill the flagship. Well, apparently I jumped to the base instead of... I meant to jump to him. Whoops. Alright, well, we might not get the repair because of that. That was... I just completely spaced there. Shield hack is bad hack. It's not as bad as weapon hack, though. Literally the worst? No, weapons is literally the worst, I think. I'm gonna jump to the repair and give it a second try. I think being here before the boss means we have two uh, two chances to run away and come back, I think. I might be wrong about that. Any more ships out of this battle core? This is probably my last run. I don't wanna go late, my hand's not feeling very good today, so I doubt I do a third run today hell. Ah, oh, god damn it. He went shields into fucking weapons. Fuck you, FTL. Oh, what the hell? Fucking dodges, I might man. go for this because I, I don't know that I'm allowed to run away. Yeah, if I run away, we the base is destroyed. All right, so we take one missile volley here. Let's power up artillery, yeah. Since the whole goal of this phase was to crew kill, yeah. Power artillery, there's a good plan. Death by a thousand fucking missiles, man. All right, all right. Well, they have a four fire in their shield, so... Okay.
We might still be able to work around this. It's just really effing annoying. I'm so effing annoying. So effing annoying. Okay, let him in and then burn him. I think we'll still be able to get good crew kills here, manipulating this. And getting the missile down makes this less scary. The fourth shield also makes this less scary. That's why I got the fourth shield. Okay. Alright. We kill one more dude, this guy, say. And finish him. Before this guy runs into the other room. I don't run him to run into... What's, what you call it? How did you dodge everything? Okay, I think he ran to the heal bay. It didn't give me the message that they have no crew left. So I think me turning off the hacking... Ah, frick. Nope. All right. Yeah, he died in the fire right in the heal bay. It didn't give me the message because the guy's in the side room. I always forget about that. All right, well... He's going to have... AI dodges or whatever, phase three. But at least we won't have boarding plus mind control to deal with. All right. So it's annoying, but fine. I should have gotten weapon value with some of the other scrap we had. So crew killing with the weapon hack, I still think is pretty good. We now turn on the artillery. Can I get, you know what? Level three artillery, let's go. We can throw that backup battery power in there. All we gotta do is breach stuff. Yes, with all of our breaching weapons that we have, right? I guess I go this way. Here we go, artillery. Um, gonna back up battery cloaking. So do I cloak the first missile? No, but I might be able to get the first missile down if I hack, get my hack through quickly enough. Oh, that is the worst possible place you could have gone, and I'm late on my hack, so. Nice! We did get the missile down. Perfect. That was what I was... How the fuck do you do beam damage when I have four shields? Fuck you, FDL. Four effing shields. That goddamn border into my piloting screwed us with our dodges. F you, FTL. Excuse my language, but F you. Combat drone plus perfect timing of beam and laser artillery, I guess, made us take damage there, and the fact that our dodges were lower from the stupid-ass worst possible place for the boarding drone to board. I know, excuse my effing language, I know. Alright, now what I've been afraid of this entire time... Alright, so I want the Mantis to be in the heal bay. I'm gonna tell the... Pilot to run to heal bay. Zoltan banging on shields. I f Am I okay with that? Definitely don't want human banging on weapons. Prevent. You can use artillery as mind control punching protection. That's true. Put NG there. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run rock to heal bay, hit enter as soon as the mind control goes through. Whoever gets mind controlled, I hope it's guy in a heal bay. Why prevent? So that I can vent my own dude banging on a system, that's why. And I have 32 scrap, which gets us nothing. Yes, if we vent a room, also if there's a fire in a room from frickin' missiles. 
Alright, here we go. Follow him. It's my pilot. Okay, so he's gonna run to the heel bay. My double mantis are gonna attack him. I don't want double mantis, so I'm gonna move one of my mantis into piloting while they attack each other. Uh, why did he... Oh, I have no idea why that happened. I have no idea why he's punching him. Why didn't he run to heel bay? I'm cloaking this. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. I don't I don't know why that happened. That was really good dodges at least. Still not through. Fuck you FTL. Fire in there, okay. Let's cloak this, even though I'm not wow, cloaking the overcharge. Just enough for me to do zero on, fucking dodge. damage. Okay, I think we're okay. Wow, holy crap, we did a lot of damage. Jesus, both mind controls on the pilot. He moved too slow. I had to wait for him to get out of the room. Okay, well, F me. It's fine. GG cookie time. We, we dealt with it. So apparently I need to... Wow, I guess I didn't know the mechanics of a guy running out of piloting while following the boss from phase two to phase three. You need him to be... Walking out of the room when you jump, huh? I guess if it's a mantis, he moves so fast, you would have to do it immediately. I have to slow it down for a rock. All right, well, we did it. It helps that our weapons, I think, were way stronger than the NG run where we lost, uh... Where we lost to the mind control, uh, shenanigans. So that was... What ship was that? Fed A... Fed A, and that is a win, and that is nine in a row. Not too shabby. I think it went something like this. He tried running out of the room, was slow, and therefore was in engines, but engines is a four-tile room, and my control crew that don't have any borders to help want to go to a two-tile room. I thought the whole point of moving your pilot to as far away from piloting as possible is that when they get mind control, they're going to do what they were told to do beforehand. I guess I need Farb's clarification on that since he does that. There are worse thrilling than having a low DPS ship seeing the flagship pop the seconds old shield late in the fight. <laughs> Dying, but yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Let's check uh Wow. Our sector one was good. We had really good early sectors. And our late late sectors were kind of okay. But uh 44 ships defeated, 102 beacons explored, 18, 12 scrap. Pretty darn good run. To do that, you have to pre-move the pilot, not have a moving pilot. I, I I feel like I need some clarification on that mechanic. Of moving your pilot, and he gets mind controlled. Because you can't jump if your pilot is outside of piloting. That's the whole purpose of moving him out and hitting jump while he's moving. So I can't wait for him to get to a room that's on the other side of the ship and then jump. It just doesn't work. So... So you think we should not have our main pilot in piloting? You need to have some other Joe Schlub in piloting? Initiate the jump? Alright. I guess so. That's maybe something to talk about in a future run. I know it's a little early, but I am going to call it there. Because my hands are not feeling good, and if I started another run, we'd go very late, especially if we got a boarding ship. So, hope you all will allow me some rest to hands. We will definitely do some more FTL Harbor No Pause tomorrow. Definitely two runs tomorrow, because I have a church choir uh, practice. But, uh, I hope you all had a good time. We're keeping the streak alive. I also have to do editing because of that blip earlier, so that's my other excuse. Uh, nine in a row. This is... Uh, Turning out to be a decent streak with stealth be down, so I'm super psyched about that. A relaxing day was something I needed for sure. Uh, but tomorrow, like 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 every day, is this the last week? I think next week will be the last day of hard mode no pause all week uh, before we go back into playing new games. So who knows? Maybe we can actually get this cycle streak done. But as usual, thank you for all the support, everybody. The bits to follow the subs, give subs, working, hanging out, all the amazing stuff. 
I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you for more Star Salty FTL tomorrow, and hopefully a continued streak. You all rock. See you next time. Good luck on your own FTL runs. Later, my friends.